Good evening, YouTube family. How's everybody doing on this Wednesday night? Hopefully, everybody's doing wonderfully blessed. This is Crypto and Stock Talk with Jaime G. That be this guy right here, the guy that brings the latest and the greatest that crypto and them stocks for your radar, guys. Like I said, I'm starting something new, guys. I am combining uh, crypto with uh, my stocks uh, in my videos. Not all videos are going to be mixed, you know, crypto and stock. You know, some might, some not. But I just wanted to put that out there, guys. I value your guys' opinion, guys. If you guys can let me know down in the comments down below. If you guys think I should just stick to just, you know, when I make my videos, just strictly make videos on stocks. And when I do crypto, just do videos strictly on crypto or would you guys like me to merge them both together in the same video? I value your guys' thoughts and opinions, so please leave them down in the comments down below. It would be much appreciated, guys. None of this is financial advice, guys. It's just me merely sharing my thoughts and opinions as we invest in the stock market in our accounts, guys. You know, and I just like to bring these stocks for your radar, guys. You know what I mean? So hopefully both our accounts will go up. And hopefully sooner than later, guys. I know we've had a lot of volatility in the markets. It's been very uncertain, you know what I mean, guys? With just everything, the treasury bonds, just everything in general, guys. We've, uh, it seems like we're going into another correction. We've been, for the past, like, five weeks, guys, it's just been more bad than good. You know what I mean? So, you know, you got to kind of be very particular with your picks and just you know because you you just don't know right now guys you know what i mean my account has taken some major major hits like i've never had before guys you know what i mean but you just gotta have a positive outlook no matter what and continue to push forward guys i won't be too long just long enough guys this stock that i'm going to be talking about as you can see it's called leaf group uh ticker l-e-a-f leaf uh i think this is a great one to put on your radar guys with the NFT buzz, guys, if none of you, which is uh, in crypto, right? Which stands for non-fungible tokens, guys. Guys, if you guys don't know what it is, go look it up. NFTs. It is going insane right now, guys. NFTs in crypto and NFT stocks, guys. This is not a NFT uh, per stock per se, such as like Dolphin or uh, TCAT. Or HOFV, right? Those ones are actual NFT uh, plays that are kind of geared towards um, NFTs, right? Such as like Riot Blockchain and Mara and SOS, how those kind of correlate with Bitcoin uh, in the NFT world, uh, Dolphin and HOFV uh, and uh, Funk Funko, right? Those are some of many stocks that kind of go hand in hand with the nft craze that is going on right now but guys this one i want to put under your radar guys because this is a uh art company as well guys there are multiple things as we'll see here guys but they also do art so they possibly can become a um nft stock you know what i mean that is kind of runs uh that correlates with the NFT craze that is going on right now, guys. And in my opinion, the NFT craze is, is, is here to stay. It's digital art, guys. That's what it is. Like I said, when you do your own research, look up NFTs and see what it is. Maybe I'll make a video and let you guys know what NFTs are. Without that, be With that being said, let's just get right on into this, guys. So, we're going to be talking about Leaf Group. Leaf Group is a diversified consumer internet company that builds... Builds enduring creator driven brands that reach passionate audiences in large and growing lifestyle categories including art and design fitness and wellness home and decor do-it-yourself projects and craft amongst others leaf group is headquarters in santa monica california guys like i said i think this is going to be a great one to put on your radar it's been doing great the past uh the past year guys as we'll get into, we're going to get a little bit into the fundamentals here, guys. You know, guys, if you guys can do me a favor and show me some mad love, guys, and destroy that like button. You know, I really appreciate it, guys. And if you guys can hit that notification bell, because it helps me out with that YouTube algo, guys. You know what I mean? And not just that, so you can be notified when I come through with the latest and greatest for your radar. Alright, guys, I'm going to quickly read an article here uh, from one of their... Um, one of their uh, uh, 
art companies here, guys, right? Or I just want to show you real quick, guys, everything that they kind of do, right? Or I'm going to read this, uh, this uh, Satachi art release, right? Um, actually, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to read you this uh, article here that just came out a couple days ago. Let's see if my phone acts correctly. But the Satachi art, guys, is the one that I think is going to... Uh, it can possibly turn into a, oh man, what's up on my phone? It's not working. Okay, here we go. We'll read this. It says, leading online art gallery highlights a diverse international class of emerging artists, many of whom represent unheard perspectives in the traditional art market. And guys, that's what NFTs are. It is uh, digital art, right? It's art that can be made digitally, guys. So I think this can be one. I'm not, you know what I mean? Just keep it on your radar. Nonetheless, it has been doing good. Uh as far as percentage goes, the past year, guys, the past year, it's been up 600%. Um, the world's leading online art gallery for emerging artists, Satoshi Art, released in its New Voice campaign featuring 100 emerging artists, uh, divert a diverse group from a wide array of backgrounds and entities. This trailblazing group of artists represents a new generation of talent, each of whom is helping shift the conversation in the traditional art world by sharing often unheard perspectives and engaging in novel art making approaches. New Voices celebrates Satoshi's art going commitment to equity, equity of representation in the arts when two thirds of the artists self, uh, featured self-identifying as uh, BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and People of Color, and more than half identifying as women as a pioneer in online art sales since 2010. Satoshi Art remains a trusted source in the emerging art market led by Chief Quarter Rebecca Wilson. Satoshi's Art renowned streams of creators spend more than a year searching the globe to hand-select the group of emerging artists. New voices include 100 artists, many of whom yet to be discovered and supported by traditional galleries. All right, guys, uh, it says New Voice is a very special campaign for Satoshi R and a caliber of talent featured here to reflect the art world's new uh, direction of 2021. All right, guys, uh, let's see, it says Satoshi Art, leading online art gallery. Satoshi features one of the world's largest selection of original art that helps people all over the world find art and industries they love. The online art gallery offers original paintings, drawings, sculptures, and photography free by over 1,000 emerging artists from over 100 countries. Satoshi Art as redefining the experiences of buying and selling art by providing art lovers free art advisory services and expertise. Uh, curating selections of art while giving artists a con convenient and welcoming environment in which it exhibits and sells their work. To discover the world of Satachi, please visit blah blah blah. Right, guys. So obviously, Le this is a part of uh one of Leaf Group's brand, guys. Right. So like I said here, let's see. You know, so this is this is just some of many of their brands, guys. Uh, if you go on their see Satoshi R Society Six, if you go on their website and you look it up, they have so many uh, venues on their uh, and and on, on their brands, guys. Like I said, I think this is gonna be a great one to put on your radar. Now we're gonna get into a little bit of the fundamentals here, guys. So Leaf had gained 15.81% uh, today, guys, raising from $7.40 to $8.57 during the day. It fluctuated 18.95% from the day low of $7.44 to the day high of $8.85, then pulling back $0.28 cents to $8.57, where it closed the day at. The price has risen, guys, six of the last 10 days. It is up. 52% in the last two weeks. In the last month, it's up 39%. In the last three months, 90%. And in the last year, like I said earlier, 600%, guys. It has a market cap of $320 million, right, guys? So it's definitely not a penny stock, and it's not, it's basically, it's a small cap stock, guys. Um, it's 52-week high is $8.85, which it actually hit today. Guys, regardless of the, most of the market being in the red today, guys, Leaf was in the green. And not just that, it hit its 52-week high, guys. In, in, in the midst of this correction that's going on or whatever you want to call it, guys, Leaf still hit its 52-week high of $8.85 today, guys. And it's pretty much been in the green like this past six days, guys. The past month, it's been up. 
39%, guys. That's a lot compared to a lot of these stocks, guys, that have been just getting creamed and demolished uh, these, since we've been having this correction and just this bad sentiment, if you will, I guess, in the stock market or whatever you want to call it, guys. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be negative, Nelly here, whatever, just whatever's going on with the stock market, guys. You know what I mean? Just people are very just sensitive or emotional. I don't know, man. Just the market is just obviously being corrected right now. Okay, guys, so three Wall Street analysts give it a strong buy and a price target of $17.91, guys, which is a 108.9% increase, guys, right? That's not too bad, you know what I mean? If you put $1,000, then you'll get 100, you, you know, according to the Wall Street analysts, you could possibly get 108.9% uh, return on that, guys. That first level of resistance, guys, is at $8.83, which would tell of a 2.98% uh, 2 uh, increase, guys. So it obviously would have to go up from the price it's at. Now, it would have to go up 2.98% uh to hit that first level of resistance when that second level of resistance is at nine dollars and sixteen cents which is six dollars six dollars six point eight six percent increase guys and that third level of resistance guys is at uh nine dollars and seventy cents which would be thirteen point one five percent increase all right guys that first level of support is at seven dollars and seventy five cents right now guys so right now it's currently sitting in it, sitting at eight dollars and 57 cents guys so it's sitting basically in the middle guys of of but well basically it's more closer to the it's 28 cents away rather guys it's closer to that first level of resistance right it would have to go up another 2.98 percent guys to get to that first level it, it went past it by two cents guys earlier today Right, and then it got some, it got that resistance, and then it pulled back those 28 cents, guys. So, obviously, it might, it might get a little bit of a challenge at that uh, first level resistance at $8.83, right, guys? So, just be aware of that. But it is closer to the first level resistance than it is to the first level of support. My point being, guys, is that in my opinion, I think it's going to continue to go up and not down. That is why I am saying that. Okay, so that first level of support, like I said, is nine is at seven dollars and um seventy five cents, which it would have to decrease nine point five nine percent to get to that first level of 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 support from the price it's currently at now. And that second level of support is seven dollars and forty two cents, guys, which is a decrease of thirteen. 0.47%. And if it continues to want to dip even more, guys, that third level of support is at um, $6.88, which is a whopping uh, decrease of 19.76%, guys. So it would have to go down almost 20% to get to that third level of support. But like I said, in my opinion, not financial advice, I think it is just going to continue to gradually work its way up. Their earnings are uh, forecasted to grow at 45.8% per year, which is pretty pretty good, right? That's better than most, guys. In return versus market, they exceeded the U.S. market of 69.4% over the past year as opposed to Leafs 600% over the past year. In the past two months, guys, insiders have bought over 28.4 million freaking dollars of shares, guys. 28.4 million dollars worth of shares. Within, I think it was uh, four insiders uh, doing insider buying, right? That's a lot of uh, money, guys. 28.4 million dollars uh, between uh, four insiders buying, guys. Four insiders of the company, which is always a great sign and a bullish sign. In my opinion, right, guys, when you have people, insiders such as employee, the CEO or director, whoever it may be, nonetheless, they obviously have extreme, extreme um, belief in the company, right? Especially to spend that much money on shares. Uh, that's a great sign, guys. Institutions own 50% of the company, guys. Hedge funds own 19.6%. Individual insiders own 3.4%. And retail investors such as you and I own 16.7% of the company. So, which big dogs own LEAF? Okay, so Oak Investors own $31.9 million worth of shares. Guys, if you don't know who they are, go look them up. Oak Investors, guys. You know what I mean? They're a, um, 
institutional investors themselves. So you go look them up, guys, to see if you want to know who they are. But they are uh, the heaviest um, investors in LEAF, and they own a whopping $31.9 million worth of shares. That's a lot, guys. Renaissance Technologies, which is a great uh, institutional investors as well. Go look them up as well if you like. They own $14.6 million worth of shares. And you guys have a Vanguard, who is the second biggest institutional investor in the world, owns $12 million worth of shares, guys. Obviously, with this much millions and millions worth of dollars invested in LEAF, uh, they see profits, guys, in the near and foreseeable future. Me, myself, I think this is a very great... Um, play to put on your radar or to invest in whether it's in the short term or the long term and i think it could possibly end up becoming an nft play guys you know what i mean don't quote me on it but being that they are in the art and a lot of these companies um are gearing towards that and i read an article that i can't remember where i read it at earlier today guys i'm so mad because i wanted to read it and i misplaced it and i don't remember where i found it at guys where it talked about them possibly uh becoming an nft uh play guys but that's all i have today for you guys hopefully you found this useful guys if you did all i ask if you guys can just please hit that like and subscribe you know what i mean maybe leave a comment down below give me a big fat thumbs up guys i really appreciate it and it helps me out with that youtube like i said guys down below there will be links guys there will be links down to uh my robin hood if you want to get free stocks for you and i there will also um, links down there for Coinbase, Crypto.com, and BlockFi, guys. These are uh, links. So if you want to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, or other cryptocurrencies, you can use those links. And we both will get free um, crypto, guys. Like, for example, if you use Coinbase, you and I will get $10 each free of Bitcoin. And not just that, once you sign up and you go through the KYC, which is know your client, know your customer, guys, which is you just answer some questions. Then you'll have to obviously like take a picture of your ID, right? And you send it in and they prove it. it I think it takes uh, like two days, guys, um, tops. Um, so through Coinbase, like I said, guys, you will get, you and I will get $10 of free Bitcoin. And once you're on their site, you will see that you will um, you can get up to forty dollars free of cryptocurrency, guys, of four different um, four different uh, altcoins that they have on their um, exchange, guys. I uh, can't remember the names. Uh, forgive me, but it's up to forty dollars, guys. You just have to read some some articles, answer some questions, and you get up to forty dollars free. Yes, $40, guys. And on Crypto.com, guys, if you guys sign up using my link, you and I each get $25 free of um, Bitcoin, guys. Okay, guys, but you don't have to use my links, guys. I don't I don't care. I, they're down there. If you want to help out the channel, it's really helpful. But if not, it doesn't matter, guys. Just, just trying to educate you guys so you guys can start that journey into financial freedom. And I'm sorry if I took too long, guys. This is Crypto and Stock Talk with Hamachi. Till tomorrow, guys. Hopefully you stay green and have a great day. Peace. All right. So now where is that button? Uh-oh. There you go.